Hi, this is Asher Intrader, and I'm here in uh, the Judean foothills outside of Jerusalem. I wanted to ask you for prayer. Recently, there's been a lot of controversy, dialogue, and debate within the Messianic community in Israel on the issue of apostles and prophets. It's probably a healthy thing. In fact, it's probably great that we're even having this controversy and dialogue. But in this case, it's, we need a lot of prayer support so the truth will come out. And there was a couple things that I wanted to just clarify to make sure that you understand what we're not saying. First of all, in Hebrews chapter 3, it says that Yeshua, He is the apostle of our faith. So we don't think anybody is the apostle. We don't think there's a new pope. We don't think anyone should lead the entire body of Christ, not here in Israel, not around the world. So we don't believe in that. It also says in Revelation 21 that there are 12 apostles of the Lamb. So we don't think anybody else is going to be one of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. We're not claiming that someone else can be on the level of those 12. It's only those 12 and no one else is going to be in that group. Certainly not uh, any one of us. It also says in uh, Revelation chapter 2 that there are false apostles and we need to discern them and test them. So much of what happens in the world of apostles and prophets today, a lot of it's false. So you don't want to receive everything that somebody says about being an apostle or a prophet. We need to test. How do you test? You test by the fruit. And that's what we want people to look at. So we're not saying that everything is correct, but if you're supposed to test, that means there's some things that are good and some things that are bad. Some things that are true and some things that are false. Yeshua also warned about not putting emphasis on titles in Matthew 23. So we don't think anybody should walk around and say, hello, I'm apostle so-and-so, I'm prophet so-and-so, and and probably shouldn't say I'm rabbi so-and-so or pastor so-and-so. In every use of the word of titles, we want to bring them down and make them more humble. And we talk about functions uh, in the body of Christ. What we do believe, however, is that uh, the functions, the roles, the gifts, of, in Ephesians chapter 4 of apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher are relevant today. And they actually help build the unity of the body of Christ. In fact, it even says in 1 Corinthians 12 that apostles are one of the functions of the body even as people have administrative gifts and gifts of help. So we see it as a normative function in the body of Christ. Just as you have deacons, you have elders, you have pastors, and you also have evangelists and prophets and apostles. So we see it in a very normative, uh, functional way. I also wanted to mention that some people thought that perhaps we were claiming that our groups and our congregations here in Israel, that we were the only ones representing apostolic and prophetic restoration. And I just want to lay that to rest. It never came to our mind. We never thought of it that way. We never meant of it. There are many, many, many good ministries in Israel, many of them doing what I would call apostolic, prophetic, and apostolic functions. So we bless, we support all of them. We're one part of the body here, and we love you, and we love all of the body here. So we do want to ask you for clear prayer support today. We believe this is could be a very positive turning point, as long as we don't argue too much about it. So please pray for us, and we're going to look for good fruit to come forth during this year.